This will be a friendly comparison between Flow and Apex, two valuable tools in the Salesforce ecosystem. We will discuss their strengths and weaknesses, evaluating each tool against key requirements to determine which is best suited for specific tasks. Let's get started. In the blue corner, we have Apex and LWC. Apex was introduced back in 2006 at Dreamforce and it was a game changer for Salesforce customization. Along with Apex, we have Visual Force, Aura Components, and now Lightning Web Components, or LWC, which allow for powerful custom interfaces within Salesforce. In the red corner, we have Flow. First launched in Spring 12 as Cloud Flow Designer, Flow has evolved significantly. Now known as Flow Builder, it's the go-to tool for process automation, replacing Workflow Rules and Process Builder. Flow comes in three key types, auto-launched, triggered, and screen flows. Pros, cons, and special mentions. Flow is a click-based tool or declarative tool, while Apex and LWC are code-based or programmatic tools. While Flow might seem simpler, it still requires following best practices in design and architecture. Apex and LWC offer more flexibility and power but come with a steeper learning curve due to syntax requirements. Challenge one, two-way integration with external systems. You're working with a B2B business needing Salesforce to sync with an external system summarizing customer accounts. Round one, best fit solution. While both Flow and Apex can handle this, considering the intermittent updates, Flow could suffice. However, if the volume of data is significant, you might need to explore middleware solutions like MuleSoft. Challenge two, building a custom branded form. A water company wants customers to submit images of water meters via a branded multi-page KYC form. Round two, best fit solution. For a complex branded form, OmniStudio, if available, is ideal. If not, a combination of ScreenFlow and custom LWCs can meet the requirements. Challenge three, working with complex collection types. You need to integrate an external asset management system with Salesforce, handling data in a map collection type. Round three, best fit solution. Flow currently doesn't support map collections, so Apex is the clear choice for this scenario, offering the necessary support for handling maps. Challenge four, large scheduled batch processing. You need to process nearly a million records each night for insurance policy calculations. Round four, best fit solution. While scheduled triggered flow is an option, it can't handle the volume. Apex with its superior batch processing capabilities is the best fit. Challenge five, roll back part way through transaction. You need to set save points and roll back transactions if errors occurred without orphaning records. Round five, best fit solution. Apex's set save point and rollback methods in the database class make it the better choice, allowing precise control over transactional rollback. And the winner is, there's no single winner here. Both Flow and Apex, along with other tools like LWC, Visual Force, on the studio and MuleSoft have their places. The best tool depends on your specific needs and the Salesforce edition. Salesforce offers a variety of tools and it's up to the skilled admins, developers, architects and consultants to choose the best one for each job. If you're new to Apex or Flow, consider checking out the Apex Academy or the Ultimate Salesforce Flow Foundation course to expand your skills.